this fight with Kobe will take place in Chicago next weekend. And exciting, man. You know, one more belt, interim title. And it's my second belt. It will be, you know, a great night for me. I'm sure about it. Uh, that that means a lot for my legacy. And you know, be the first Brazilian to have two belts, and be among the very few guys to have two belts will be, you know, uh, a great accomplishment for me. How do you view him when he says all these things? Like, how, what's going through your head? I think like he's embarrassing himself. It's embarrassing, you know, sometimes to watch. He always come with the same jokes and you know, copying someone. And, you know, I'm a cold-blooded fight, fighter. You know, once I step on the octagon, that's there is no trash talk. It's just two guys and fighting. All right, take care. Thanks a lot. Bye, Holly. See you in Chicago. All right, I'll see you over at Fox. Okay. See you. This guy. It's a fake gangster. If you wanna talk smack, you know, you wanna talk talk crap, you get smack. That's normal. You know, you gotta have balls to to face the problem. Like in Singapore, after the fight, we stay on the same locker room. You not even look at your me. After the fight, we pass by each other. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. He didn't say anything. Right, he passed me. RDA, you next. I said, come on, man. This guy just passed by me, man. What's this guy saying? He's a fake, man. I came out here fresh out of college, you know. This is the only gym I've ever trained at. I've been training here with the best guys in the world and the best coaches in the world for eight years now. How's the weight? Uh, good, like After sparring yesterday with Dustin, it was at 181. It's cool to see a guy who you've known from, from the beginning uh, climb the ladder like he has and, and reach the top. Push, pull, snap, move him. Get on that head, wear him out. Make that head feel like a thousand pounds. I truly believe in him. I, I think he can, he can beat anybody in the world. And it's time for him to fight for a world title. That's pretty cool. He's fading, he's fading, he wants out. He wants a way out, show him the door. I'm preparing for the best uh, RDA we've seen, you know. Nice. Time. He wants to come and defend his country, you know. I'm the king of Brazil right now, and people in Brazil want me dead, so he's gonna come and try and do that, so I'm expecting that. I've seen him in fights where the fight gets tough and he just kind of shies away from a challenge. I'm not afraid of a challenge. I'm not afraid of a tough fight, so, you know, I, I trained very hard for this fight, and, you know, it's not going five rounds. He's gonna be finished inside three rounds. Time! World champ! See you soon, Ralphie. Make sure you get that bubble wrap. I don't want you to get hurt before Chicago. It's uh, called Deep Muscle Stimulator. Kind of helps just flush all the byproduct from fatigue, all the soreness. Pretty much what he's saying is it helps de-stress from all the haters and virgins online. All these Cheeto-eating dorks that are in their basements, their mom's basements, let me tell you what, and they're trying to tell me that I can't do my job wrong? Right? You need to stop weighing 300 pounds eating Cheetos and stop telling me how to live. I'm fighting for a world title. You're over there being a virgin. Just here on top of the hotel, do a bit of a workout, get a bit of sweat on, move a little bit, stretch a little bit. Nothing too heavy, just to stay moving, keep the blood flowing, you know. Rob's done everything he has to do. It's just a question of just dealing with the jet lag. Doing a bit of stretching, staying loose. There's 19 hours just in the plane to get here, not even dealing with jet lag, not even dealing with anything else. Just being cramped up in that spot for 19 hours. You need to loosen up. You need to make sure you don't get injured and you can go back to your optimal levels of flexibility to be able to perform. I'm at the end of the adjustment period now and we're getting into fight week, which is the way it should be. You shouldn't be adjusting fight week. I feel like that's, that's pushing it a bit, a bit too late. I feel great right now. Everything's everything's perfect. Mate, these are all secret stretches. We can't tell you. We have to do them underwater so you can't hear or see any of the stuff that we do. It's from a small village in China where my dad's from. And um, yeah, we've been doing we've been doing it for about three thousand years in my family.
<laughs> Tell me more about your Chinese dad. <laughs> it's a small village in China. The one thing we do, mate, is keep our culture strong. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thank you, it. Mate. <laughs> My pleasure. One more picture to this guy. Came pleasure. from Canada. All right. Thank you so much. My pleasure, mate. My pleasure. All the work's done. This is this is just last minute revision, you know, for a test that you've been studying for forever. So, like, if you haven't studied this year, well, last week cramming's not going to do you very good. Four one. No, no, no. I thought the Romero that I fought was the best Romero we've seen. I expect that Romero, I expect a harder Romero, I expect a hard fight, I expect the wall. But I'm at the top of the food chain for a reason. You know, I, I work hard and I'm good at what I do. Go Rob, let's go. Do your own thing Rob, man. Just do your own thing, move around however you want. There's no, there's no massive secrets to how we're prepping. Like, Romero is one of the best wrestlers of all time with massive power in his hands. Excellent grappler. Um, Romero's well capable of putting Rob away and Rob can certainly put him away. So I'm not expecting anything other than the best Yoel Romero on the day. And that's who we're preparing for. Like I was like a smaller kid and I wasn't like very big and I got picked on a lot. My dad was like, hey man, you want to be the toughest guy around? He showed me a UFC fight and he was like, see these guys, see the wrestlers, they're dominating all the fights. So if you want to be a good wrestler and you want to be a good fighter, then you, you need to wrestle. So he got me into wrestling and the rest was history. I love fighting, man. I just grew up fighting, getting in street fights and boys fighting. So I always knew that I was going to transition to fighting after wrestling. That's where I started. That's where this journey all started when I was six years old. Thurston, Oregon, the 541. I wanted to be the toughest guy around. I didn't want no one to ever even think they stood a chance with me. I wanted them to be afraid when I walked into a room. Got a rep. There's probably going to be some people in Chicago repping the brand now. Nerd Bash 2018. No nerd is safe. I promise you that. Next nerd on the guest list is Rafi Dos Nachos. See, guys, don't, they think I'm just a wrestler. They're about to find out I'm more than just a wrestler. I'm the most well-rounded fighter on the planet. My vision, my eyes, my punching power, everything. It can't be stopped. You know, once I beat RDA, it's Woodley. And if Woodley don't want to fight, he can just vacate and give me that title and I can move on to bigger and better things. All the hard work's done. All the packing's done. The only thing left to do is fly and go beat up a Brazilian nerd. Reclaim my throne as the king of Brazil. Live on pay-per-view. Don't miss it, snowflakes. Come and take what's mine, the UFC welterweight title.